cans coffee for your breakfast, lunch, or supper. There you are. Whether now. you live in Everett, Seattle, or Tacoma, you'll say Reliance Coffee's tops for flavor and aroma. Now you know that voice, don't you? Yeah, that, that's that's Evar, as his relatives called him, and any good Scandinavian would call him Evar. And you know. He came on the waterfront in 38, although he visited ever since he was a kid with his dad and when he was walking home from the University of Washington. He'd take the trestle down from Pike Place Market, and there was a long trestle, one of the many different hill climbs on Pike Street, that he'd go down and walk along the waterfront when he was returning home from college in the early uh, eight, uh, 1920s. And always remarked to himself, this is where he wanted to spend his life, was on the waterfront. So he opened, as Jan said, his aquarium in 38, and then he uh, got it on radio, which is what he always wanted to do. He became very knowledgeable about Northwest folk singing, wrote his own songs, and he got Reliance Coffee to sponsor him. So that really gave him his send-off. So during the war, he was doing three things. He was running his aquarium, he was sorting nuts and bolts uh, for Lockheed down on, on Harbor Island, and he was also uh, doing, uh, doing the radio show. And, and that gave him the popularity that let him open the restaurant. Now, why do I give all this time with Ivor? And uh, is because, as Jan noted, it's, although I had done some research on the waterfront before that with waterfront awareness, Paul Chilko, who used to work with the Port of Seattle and I would walk around the waterfront and take pictures together. It was really that uh, invitation by Ivor uh, through uh, Jim Faber. And if you'll turn now on the screen, uh, up there, the first slide. Oh, I do that. Oh, see, I knew that would be a problem. I'm used to saying next, and I can do it myself here.